Consumer prices jumped at the fastest pace in more than a decade in April, surprising economists and intensifying a debate on Wall Street and in Washington over whether inflation might reach levels that would squeeze households and ultimately undermine the recovery. Economists and central bank officials said the numbers reflected pandemic-driven trends that would most likely prove temporary. But investors and politicians are worried that prices will keep climbing, potentially pressuring the Federal Reserve to lift interest rates sharply. That could slow economic growth and send stock prices plummeting. On Wednesday, stocks slumped more than 2%, the biggest decline since late February, after the government reported in the morning that the closely monitored consumer price index climbed 4.2% in April from a year earlier, its fastest pace since 2008. Hanging over the debate is America's inflationary experience in the 1960s and 1970s, when big government spending, an oil crisis, a slow-moving Fed and the final end of the gold standard converged to send price gains to double-digit heights. The central bank got things under control only by lifting interest rates to punishing levels, at a grave cost to the housing market and ultimately the job market. Few analysts expect a return to such huge price gains, in part because the Fed has pledged to act to keep inflation under control. But if officials are prodded to withdraw economic support quickly in order to prevent another great inflation, it could spur a downturn, as sudden Fed changes have done in the past. Yet many economists, including advisers to the White House and Fed officials themselves, played down the concern that the inflation gains will last past the end of this year. The specifics of Wednesday's report instead backed up the Fed's belief that the rapid price increases will probably fade with time, several said, because they trace back to the economy's reopening from the pandemic. This is one data point, Richard H. Clarida, the Fed's vice chair, cautioned shortly after the data release, noting that it might take time for supply to catch up with demand as the economy reopens. Even so, he struck a somewhat cautious tone, acknowledging that the number came as a surprise and saying the Fed will remain watchful to make sure the increase is temporary. Prices for used cars, plane tickets and furniture are all rising as the economy reopens, contributing to the increase. The jump also reflected the fact that prices tumbled a year ago when state and local governments instituted stay-at-home orders, causing spending to sharply slump. The report's details told a story of resurging demand while supply is constrained, and at an uncertain and volatile juncture, the economy has never reopened from a pandemic shutdown before. But the report fueled investor concerns that price gains might be more pronounced and lasting than the Fed anticipates.